Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for The Astonishing Ant-Man, issue 13, the last issue of Ant-Man. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course I have Comic You Know, episode 166, and that show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. So if you want to go check out the exclusive comics for that show, it's in the description below. Uh, also, I have my last episode of the season of Mother Versus, so if you want to go check that out, that'll be annotated. But let's start talking about one of my favorite series that is ending, The Astonishing Ant-Man, issue 13. Now, this is a book I was really looking forward to, because like I said, I've been loving this series, and I love Cassie. She's one of my favorite characters, and I love her relationship with her father, Scott. So, uh, obviously, with this cover, we could see it's going to be a big story for both of them. And that's something I really liked about this volume of Ant-Man more than um, the first volume of Nick Spencer's run, where yes, Cassie was very much focused on in Ant-Man, but this I felt like was um, a little bit more equal for Cassie and Scott's uh, storylines. Uh, so let's get into the artwork. Um, as always, love the art style here. I think facial expressions are done really well. Um, and it's more of a simplistic art style, and th and that's really shown with the final battle here, where the final battle, half of it's shown off screen, uh, but for this book, I, I feel like that's okay, uh, because this book is never focused on flashy battles, it's fo it's focused always on the characters, on and especially Scott and Cassie's relationship, so um, I like the simplicity of the artwork, I, I think it works really well, and again, the facial expressions are what really matters in this book. So great artwork, really bright colors, love the coloring here too. But let's start talking about the story. So in this issue, uh, we get to see Scott on trial, and his friends try to dig him out of this hole of going to jail, and it's not really working out. And now we have Peggy, who's Cassie's mom, bring her to the courtroom and say, look at what you did. You're coming. You're, you did this. Let's go. Uh, so she's being a tough, uh, tough mom there. Uh, and then Darren Cross shows up, uh, Cassie and Scott's arch nemesis, and the team and Cassie and Scott have to save the day. And, and it's both Scott and Cassie kind of saving each other uh, from Darren Cross and defeating their arch nemesis finally. Uh, and by the end, it's, it's noticed and it's finally realized that Cassie and Scott should be a team and it's Stinger and Ant-Man forever. And the touching part is Scott is uh, Cassie's hero and Cassie is Scott's hero. Uh, so that was just awesome. Um, I love this book. Uh, now, I'm a huge Young Avengers fan, the original Young Avengers book, and what I love about this run, and if you ha if you love Young Avengers, I 100% recommend you read Astonishing Ant-Man, because I feel like it's kind of a love letter to that book, uh, at least in Cassie's point of view, because um, we really get to see the history of Scott and Cassie's relationship in this issue, um, and not just in this series, in previous series, because What's interesting about their relationship is they're, they've always wanted to, well, Cassie always wanted to be a hero because of her, of her father, and then Scott became a hero because of Cassie. Uh, and because of circumstances, they were never able to be a hero at the same time. So Cassie became stature in Young Avengers back in 2005 when Scott died, when he was dead. Uh, and then, five minutes later, after Scott comes back, Cassie dies. Uh, and then you have the whole tired Dr. Doom thing happen. Cassie comes back. Scott, um, Scott and Cassie reunite. But they definitely had hardships throughout this book, which has been a fun journey because, you know, Cassie and Scott have, like, the best friend relationship, the best father-daughter relationship. Uh, but then things happen in Astonishing Ant-Man, um, and post-Secret Wars that they're not even talking. Uh, Cassie doesn't have her abilities, and you see them go through these trials and errors that we never seen them go through, either because they weren't around each other, because one of them was dead, um, or because they've always been best friends. They never really saw the negatives of each other. And here, um, we see them go through a fight and come out the other end stronger. And that's what I loved about this book is, yes, the buildup was there. It was so there to make their relationship and them being heroes together even stronger because it's been a decade journey of, again, 
uh, Scott dying, Cassie dying, um, where they couldn't be heroes together, and they finally found their own way of being heroes alone, and now they can be heroes together. Uh, and another thing that really surprised me, which also built up from Young Avengers, was Peggy's character. Uh, Peggy, who's Cassie's mother and uh, Scott's ex-wife, She's always been against all of this. If you read Young Avengers, she kind of despised that Cassie had these abilities. Didn't despise her daughter, but she always tried to shelter her and say, no, you're not doing that. Stop trying to be a superhero. Stop trying to be like your dad because he died. Um, and then when she died, uh, you saw her throughout Ant-Man and astonishing Ant-Man. She tried to protect Cassie. She's like, nope, you're, we're moving to Miami. Stop with the superhero stuff, and you're going to be a normal girl. And... Um, and uh, we get to see in this book, Peggy realizes finally, after again, decade of storytelling, uh, that Scott, you know, she does not agree with everything he does, and uh, but she believes he's a good father. And Cassie is never going to be a normal girl. She's always going to want to be a hero. So she finally accepts that, accepts Scott for the role he should be in uh, as Cassie's father, uh, and, and still try to deal with a kind of... Um, okay relationship between them, uh, just for the sake of Cassie. Uh, and then Cassie is a hero, accepting that, which has just been a long journey and it's just so justified in this book. Uh, and, and then even, you know, excluding the Cassie and uh, Scott relationship, it also is a good build-up of second chances, which is what Scott's uh, character's always been about. This issue is very much about second chances of those villains who became heroes, I guess, good people uh, in the end of this story who are fighting side by side with Scott in this issue because he gave them a second chance, uh, which I also liked as a theme in this book. So I couldn't ask for more with this book. I, I want a Stinger and Ant-Man series after this because, again, it's so justified, this book. We waited so long, the buildup was there, and it didn't let me down. Uh, it's one of my favorite books I've read this year, probably, because I just love this relationship, and uh, it was a really good ending. So, The Astonishing Ant-Man issue 13 is 100% my pick of the week, and I gave it five stars, and hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter, and don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.